Okay, so I'm going to draw triangle RAT first. So here's R, here's A, here's T. So now they didn't tell me that they're congruent, right? So I'm going to line it up this way. So TR, I already drew TR, right? So I'm going to put BN the same locations as TR. <coughs> then I'm going to have angle R, so the, that would be this angle, would be, I'm going to draw it so it's congruent to angle N. So now they're congruent. So TR is congruent with segment BN, angle R is congruent with angle N, and now I'm going to draw angle B so that it's congruent with angle T. So now <coughs> I know that those two triangles are congruent by angle, side, angle. So my congruence pattern would be angle, side, angle, and then I need to list it or my congruent statement would be triangle ART or RAT, let's go with RAT, is congruent to, so R corresponds with N, and A would correspond with O, and T would correspond with B. So it's going to, these R triangles are congruent. So triangle NOB. And that would be the answer to that. So now, for number 20, they want me to draw a triangle RAT, R, A, T. So angle R here is 4x plus 30. A is 3x plus 7, and T is 6x minus 13. And so I need to solve for X and then find the measurement of angle A. So to solve for X, I have to have an equation. If I don't have an equation, I can't solve. So since it's a triangle, I know that all three angles of a triangle will add up to 180 degrees. So I'm just going to add up these three angles. So first I'm just going to combine all my x's. 6x plus 4x plus 3x is 13x. 30 plus 7 37 minus 13 would be 24. So plus 24 and that's going to equal 180. And now we solve. So we have minus 24 from both sides. So that would give me 13x equals 156. And 156, to get x by itself next, I'm going to divide by 13. So x would equal... Uh oh, calculator set. Sure, it's 12. It's 12. We'll just say it's 12. And so then the measurement of angle A would be 3 times 12, which would be 36. 36 plus 7 would be 43. So the measurement of angle A would be 43 degrees. And if I really wanted to do it, I'd plug in the 12 for this x and the 12 for that x to make sure that all three angles did add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so in number 21 now, we know yeah, that this angle here is equal to the two remote interior angles here. So 80 plus 50 
80 plus 50 is 130. So that, this angle here is 130. And now, this angle here, because a linear pair adds up to 180, would have to be 50. And it also makes sense because these three angles have to add up to 180. So 50 plus 50 plus 180 is 180. And now over here on this one, we know that this angle, the remote interior angles, add up to, to this exterior angle. So nine, if this angle would equal 90 plus this angle. So this angle here would have to be 30. So this angle here would be 30 degrees. And now again, this angle and this angle are linear pairs. They add up to 180. So 180 minus 120 would be 60. A 30, 60, 90 triangle.